Hey everyone, this is Shanak Patwarthan from Connie's Arts and this is my very first tutorial in After Effects. Um, actually, this is my very first tutorial ever, so you'll need to bear with me on this one. Uh, I'll be showing you how to create a nifty li little effect that has helped me a lot in the past and I hope you find it useful as well. So here goes, I'll be teaching you how to create a dynamic text box that changes with the text content every time you replace or edit the text. So let's get started. Uh, once you're in After Effects, go to File and New Project. I already have a new project, so nothing happens there. Uh, go to if uh, sorry, go to Composition, New Comp, uh, Full HD, 30 FPS is fine. You can change this according to whatever you wish. Uh, press OK. Then first, I'm gonna go to layer and create a new solid uh, black solids fine press ok uh, once you have the solid select it and go to effect generate gradient ramp uh, this is not really a part of the tutorial like it's not a part of the effect that I'm going to create but I'm just going to create this so that it looks good okay so you can move these handles to change the kind of ramp you need I'm just gonna change the upper move the upper uh, handle to the center and the lower a bit to the corner of it and change this to a radial ramp uh, lower white is fine. Uh, upper color I'm just gonna change it to complete white lower color a bit of gray just so that you get this nice little yeti effect and uh, if you press this area under this lock icon uh, you can lock the layer because I don't need it I don't need to move edit or do anything with it uh, then after that go to your text tool and type in something I'm just gonna type in Connie's arts for now and uh, you can center it to the frame once you're done with this go to effect channel channel and click on set channels now uh, set this set alpha to source force to full and that's it that's the tutorial <laughs> just kidding uh, okay so while this looks does look like something that we would want we don't have any control over it basically the background color can't be changed and uh, this box is almost touching the not almost this box is actually touching the sides of this text uh, and it doesn't really look the way I need it to so let's go to effect blur and sharpen and add a fast blur on this now I need you to move this fast blur above the set channels effect and change this blur dimensions to horizontal and then press ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate this fast blur and change the second one to vertical I'll tell you why I'm doing this in a moment uh, change the blurriness value of the horizontal to 20 for now you can change this to whatever you need but uh, just for now you're gonna keep this to 20 and this to 10 once you're done with this I know it looks messed up but uh, we'll correct that in a moment then go to effect and add another effect from generate called fill this will fill all the matte area all the uh, you know the alpha of this to a single color you can even put in a gradient ramp on this but uh, just for now I'm just gonna keep this to fill and this is actually your background of your text you can change this to anything you want I'm just gonna change this to black for now and uh, once you're done with this add another effect from channel called CC composite and 
that's Once you're done with this, that's actually the effect that we are looking for. Now you have control over everything. So what the, what CC Composite does is it just composites your original layer on any effects that you've added. Okay, this is the end of the tutorial, but I'll show you why I did all this. Basically, the fast blur horizontal. If you change the value on this. It changes the value of the text box and it is completely editable uh, if you change the fast blur too it changes the vertical value of this and that too changes with the text typed so and the fill changes the background of your box to any color that you would need this is the whole tutorial Okay guys, I hope you really liked the tutorial. Uh, it's a small one, but it's my first one. I'll be uploading a lot more awesome, cool stuff in the future. So don't forget to like and subscribe to Konya's Arts. And uh, I'll see you around until next time. Shauna, over and out.